once we have like after three dates or however many dates, they will ghost me. And that's all that they, like once you've given them what they wanted, once you've benefited them, they don't have any use for you anymore. No woman wants to be treated like an object. I just drove three hours and now this guy isn't responding. The way men talk about women is super dehumanizing. And I could really honestly see me getting c***ed on by every boy in this bar right now. Be promiscuous. You go suck that D. I don't know what happened to dating. It's just sad. It's really sad. Couldn't even remember his wallet. I had to pay for his f***ing steak. I don't have enough value for anybody to try to get to know me on a deeper level than just trying to have f with me. I'm tired of dating in my 40s. I'm tired of men not knowing what they want. Don't send that thank you for a nice time message after a first date. The key is not to need him. Play his game on him. Mind a little bit. Because I had a man slide in my DMs and buy me a brand new 2021 MacBook Pro for nothing in return. And just FYI, my preference is to have four men on the roster at all times. Literally minutes before he shows up, another girl messages me about him. So naturally, I'm just annoyed as because every single guy that decides to make plans with you either flakes, ghosts you. They don't really care about the relationship anymore. And eventually they just find another dream girl and that girl takes your place. I also feel like our generation has normalized like hooking up with someone first before you date them. But the unfortunate reality is a lot of times guys see that as completely transactional and you are fully disposable to them. You want to sleep with me? You want to spend time with me? You want to go on dates with me? You want to ring me all the time but you don't want me to be a girlfriend? Why? I, I just want a partner. I just want a partnership. I want someone that I can ring up and tell about my day. Why is that so hard? It's just exponential how alone and how behind you can feel just because you're not married and because you're without kids society now thinks that uh people are disposable so it's rare to get genuity or honesty or integrity or hard work or acceptance so i'm 41 i don't have any children it is not my choice that i don't have any children let's hang out is not a date let me come over and hang out with you is not a date so why do why am i then dating because that's all i'm getting and like i said it's fun but it gets old i'm 32 years old and i'm ready to settle down how did we get to this point where we literally can't even text a few words like hey i'm not interested yeah casual is definitely not for me uh since becoming single a couple of years ago i had a few casual hookups and every single time it was the same kind of like i'm gonna pretend to care about you temporarily until i don't anymore and then i got my feelings hurt like every time so what happened to men being the pursuers Y'all don't chase anymore. The effort is so minimal. Women have just become so aggressive that you no longer have to chase and it's just available at a moment's notice and the swipe variety is just too attainable. If somebody wants to strategically approach something with their clothes off, that is their prerogative and I support that and respect that. It's like she ha is taking some kind of moral high ground to Dom, what, because she doesn't have a fans account? I'm sorry, so what, girl? We all use our bodies to do work. All of us, every last one of us. Workers use their bodies and they're in a way to do work, but we are all using our bodies. And so when I think about the situation, it seems like the thing to do is to stop doing fans and to work on getting everything removed and like I said, no, no, it's never gonna be fully gone, but maybe it would be easier for him. And maybe then we, I could feel like I matter and I'm important and I'm not ashamed, I'm not something to be ashamed of and I can meet his parents. Now that I'm rebranding myself and I'm trying to get away from fans and not do fans, um, I see like a huge drop in my income if I don't do fans and I feel stuck sometimes that I have to continue to do 
dance in order to make any money. Like if I want to go be an actress, how many people are going to hire me? Yeah, so there's times where like it gets to me and I know it's the enemy. I know it's the devil. Just saying like you might as well just continue doing that because you're going to, it's going to be really hard for you to be successful in life and do anything else. And then when they find out I'm like a real person with real feelings, they're like, oh no, I just wanted like a s doll that I could discard whenever I wanted. And I'm like, how the f do you think that makes me feel? Help with that on the bill that you wanted to take me out to that I had to get ready for? I don't think so. In a patriarchy created by men where men are paid more than women, even though women typically do a better job. I think actually, Freedom is not the preeminent value. I think it has to be balanced against other values.